Wolves are the most powerful predators on land, which is why I wanted to see if I could make them even stronger and more terrifying. So I created the Robot Wolf, a wolf that bites harder, sprints faster, and is overall 100 times stronger than a regular wolf. And now I will be playing as the Robot Wolf in game as I try to survive till day 100. Will my robot powers be enough to survive or will this wolf be put down? Stick around until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned into a futuristic city as a robot wolf. Wow, look at me. This is awesome. All around me were my pack, living peacefully in the city. Suddenly, I heard a terrifying roar and looked up into the sky. We were being invaded by a horrifying dragon and his army of robotic forces. They terrorized everything as my fellow wolves tried to fend them off. Today, the resistance falls. All creatures will bow down to me, the Cyber Dragon. My family and our enemies fought together in an epic battle, but it was clear that our resistance was beginning to crumble beneath the robot's astounding power. Leave my family alone. I lunged into battle and tried to fight back but they were too strong for me. Just as I was about to get leveled by a massive attack, my brother intercepted the blow. He fell to the ground, now gravely wounded. Brother! Bronzo, the cyber dragon must have a lab nearby. Find it and take them down from the inside. You're a last hope. Unable to hold on any longer, I watched in horror as my brother died. No! Things got worse as more of the Cyber Dragon's men locked their sights onto me. I couldn't let my brother's sacrifice go in vain, so I ran as fast as I could. On day two, I was being chased through the city by the Cyber Dragon's men. They moved after me quickly as I combed the area for the lab. Finally, I managed to spot it and rushed inside as the army followed. To my horror, I soon found myself cornered by my enemy. Out of my way! The monsters left in ferociously, bringing down their arm blades with deadly force. I whipped out my shoulder-mounted guns and started blasting. When that wasn't enough, I used my powerful mechanical jaws to chomp down on them. The cyber goons' weapons were raised are sharp, digging deep into my robot hide as they slashed and hacked, but I paid it no mind. I was destroying them. Thanks to my robotic powers, I was able to take down all my foes. Unfortunately for me, an armored guard arrived as reinforcement. The guard swung in with his powerful attacks. I tried to retaliate with my gun, but his metal body was resistant to my bullets. I tried biting down on him with my jaws, but it had the same effect as my gun. Despite my efforts, I didn't stand a chance against him. I was forced to flee further into the facility until arriving in a room with a massive machine. What is that? The armored guard was closing in on me. I had nowhere to run. And in a moment of desperation, I jumped into the machine. In an instant, it zapped me away into the unknown. On day three, I appeared back in the past in present day Minecraft. Did I walk into a time machine? Suddenly, the large guard zapped into the modern era behind me. They're not getting away. The guard lunged at me, and I ran through the overworld in a desperate attempt to escape. I found a place to take cover as the futuristic guard tried to sniff me out. Suddenly, I came to a realization. If I can stop the cyber dragon from being created here in the past, then he can't take over the world in the future. I have to hunt and kill his creator. Just then, the big guard dropped down in front of me. He lunged in to attack, and I braced myself for the worst. On days four through five, I was about to get killed when a pack of modern day wolves ran into the fray. The hounds swarmed around the guard, distracting him from hurting me. They attacked in a pack to hold off against the stronger foe. Who are you? We're wolves like you. We always help our brothers. The pack gnawed on him with their razor sharp jaws, but they were no match for his armor. The guard's future tech was too powerful and they were getting overwhelmed. Come with me if you want to live. I followed the wolf as he took me into the pack's den to hide. Suddenly, the room began to tremble. The floor crumbled beneath my feet, sending me deeper into the ground below. On days six through seven, I woke up in an abandoned mine shaft with low health from the fall. Just then, I noticed a strange device lurking in my inventory. What is this? Suddenly, more of the Cyber Dragon's men came to hunt me down. My health was too low to fight, so I ran for my life.
life. I ran through the different twists and turns to try and lose them. But no matter where I went, more guards were waiting for me. Wait a second, is this device a tracker? I reached into my inventory and tried to get rid of the tracker. But no matter what I did, I couldn't get rid of it. More goons came running towards me. So I was forced to keep moving if I wanted a chance to live. I ran as fast as my legs could carry me, but the guards were closing in. I had to think of something fast. Out of nowhere, I spotted an old conveyor belt and hopped into it to gain some extra speed. Charge! Thanks to my resourcefulness, I gained a bit of leeway. However, just as I thought I was going to escape, I realized the belt was heading directly towards a pit of boiling hot lava. Oh no, I'm going to be melted alive. On days eight through nine, I was running against the conveyor belt to try and keep myself from falling into the lava threat. As I fought against the belt, the cyber guards came barreling behind me. They were closing in. He's a robot wolf, get him. I was now stuck between the fiery pit and the incoming threat. Either way, I was going to meet my demise. I'm not going to make it. I made a running start on the conveyor belt and tried to clear the jump over the lava pit. The jump was close, but I managed to narrowly land on a platform, avoiding my fiery doom. I watched as my cyber pursuers fell to their deaths off the conveyor belt. I continued onward, but unfortunately, I didn't get a second to relax. The wall exploded, revealing a massive spider monster. Looks like I found my next meal. The arachnid beast attacked me with its eight powerful legs. On days 10 through 12, I was facing off against the giant spider. I was too injured to take them on in my current state, so I fled through the collapsed wall in an attempt to survive. Get back here! The nimble beast stormed after me as I ran through the tunnels of the mine shaft. As I was fleeing, I mistakenly plowed into a spider web, getting myself trapped inside it. Oh no, I can't move! I struggled against the web as the massive spider crawled closer. It knew I was trapped and I was running out of time. Just then, I spotted some food stuck in the web. I managed to grab it and shout down, restoring me back to full health. With my strength back, I managed to break out of the web just as the spider arrived. No more running, bring it on! The giant spider shot acid at me, dwindling my health bit by bit. I tried moving and dodging around their attacks, but before I knew it, my opponent it summoned a horde of smaller spiders that began to charge at me. I used my ferocious wolf bite and powerful shotgun bullets at her goons, clearing them all out, allowing me to focus on the brood mother. Suddenly, the armored guard that had been chasing me dropped down from above, killing the spider in a single blow. Your little tracker gave you away. It's time for me to turn you over to the boss. He reared his ugly head and came charging towards me. On days 13 through 15, I led the goon away until I came to a cliff and couldn't retreat further. With no other choice, I turned and initiated combat with the cyber guard. I immediately drew my weapon and fired with everything I had in my arsenal. Just like before, my bullet seemed to not have much of an effect on his metal exterior. I ran in for a massive chomp and the guard took the opportunity to slam down with his gnarled fists. It dealt enough damage that I knew I needed to make a tactical retreat. Quickly, I jumped down into the walkways that dangled above the lava pit for a moment of respite. It didn't take long for the guard to leap down and rush after me. I darted off and began to fire from a distance. If I took one wrong move, he would knock me into the lava. He was a challenging foe. After all, he did crush the spider monster like they were nothing. I continued to give it everything I had, but I was losing the battle. As I ran, an idea struck me. When he wasn't prepared, I went behind him and landed a heavy attack that sent him stumbling back into some spider webs. He was trapped in the sticky threads. For my brother! I landed the finishing blow with my new advantage, taking him down once and for all. Upon his death, he dropped a letter as well as a mysterious robotic part. I picked up the part out of curiosity and suddenly my body began to transform. I grew bigger in size and stood up on two legs. My claws became sharper and my jaw was more powerful. I was an upgraded robot wolf with five additional hearts and an upgraded artillery. This is incredible. I picked up the letter and began to read it. My creator was last seen in the city of steam. Find him before the robot wolf does. Cyber
Saber Dragon. The city of steam? Looks like I know where I'm heading next. I hadn't gotten very far before the roof exploded above me, revealing the Cyber Dragon. I quickly sought after cover as the threat loomed over me. I know you're down here. Come out, robot hope. On days 16 through 18, I was being hunted down by the dreaded Cyber Dragon. Each moment I waited was another second closer to being spotted. I needed to think quickly. I can't let him see me, otherwise I'm done for. I kept my head low as I stealthed around the area to find a way back to the surface. All the while, the massive cyber dragon loomed over me like a hawk stalking his prey. With calculated risks, I finally made it to the surface, only to accidentally run into a sweet berry bush. Ow! The cyber dragon lunged towards me, and I braced myself. The dragon enclosed me in a black void of magic, hindering me from moving around. Suddenly, it went away, but he had landed on the ground and snuck his teeth into me, thrashing his head, feeling great damage. I countered back with my razor-sharp claws, but I didn't do as much damage as I'd hoped. I also attacked with my mechanical bites, forcing the dragon to give up some ground, or so I thought. He was just making space between us to use his sonic powers. They destroyed the ground beneath me. Then he followed up with his dragon laser that ignited the ground and the entire area. I called down missile strikes to pummel him from above, but he still kept coming at me. He was the strongest foe I had ever faced. I didn't stand a chance in my current state. I began to run for my life as the dragon pursued closer behind. Despite my efforts, he was gaining on me. I'm not gonna make it! Just then, I heard a familiar voice calling out to me. Over here! On days 19 to 22, I realized the one calling to me was one of my wolf allies. Quickly, I ran to where they were and took cover. What are you doing here? We need your help. The Cyber Dragon's minions have captured my pack. Take me there! With the wolf's help, I snuck away from the Cyber Dragon. He led me to an area where there were wolves being held captive. Wait here. I'll take care of this. I leapt into the base to break them out, only to be ambushed by a horde of cyber goons. It was a trap! They must have known I was going there because of my tracker. With little other choice, I stood my ground and prepared to defend myself. As the creatures swarmed me, I planted my feet and drew my guns. Without hesitation, I fired into the approaching enemies, launching bullet after bullet into their armor. It slowed them down some, but there seemed to be tougher enemies than before. These new foes were armed with jetpacks and their own missiles, which they shot at me with no rest. I took out the smaller, weaker goons first. With some well-placed airstrikes, then turned to face my biggest threat here. The ones with the blades on their arms leapt at me, hoping to drive their arm spears into my hide, but I blasted them with shotgun shells. Thanks to my superior artillery, I took care of the goons in no time at all. Finally, I managed to knock my foes down and free the trapped wolves. Please, our alpha is being held inside of the base. If you can save him, we'll reward you with a secret map. Leave it to me. On days 23 to 26, I arrived at the area where the Alpha was being held captive. There, I saw a cyber guard standing in front of me. I tried to lay low, hoping to get a surprise attack on the creature. Seconds passed, and as the guard turned, I saw my opportunity to strike. I lunged at my prey, but to my surprise, the guard whipped back around and blocked it. Cool. I can sense your tracker from a mile away. That doesn't matter. Bring it on. It was a battle of artillery, bullets versus lasers. As we shot at each other, I soon realized that my airstrikes didn't work inside. This was going to be bad. We might have been evenly matched with my airstrikes, but without it, I would have to play smart and be quick. I ran at her and raked my metal claws down her steel plating, and she nimbly retaliated, mercilessly catapulting lasers into my body. I howled in fury and lunged forward again, ripping into her electrical components. As I did, she turned from blue to red. She was transforming into a second phase. She had many more lasers this time that she aimed directly at me. Thankfully, I dodged most of the damage, but the rays superheated the metal around me, creating hazardous terrain. I ran around the room, evading her while blasting shotgun shells into her. We were both neck and neck, but I felt that slowly, I was beginning to pull ahead. With one last burst of energy, I lunged forward and crushed the guard with my metallic Jaws. Not wanting to waste a moment,
moment, I rushed to the cage and freed the Alpha. Thank you for saving my people. Please take this as a form of our gratitude. The Alpha Wolf handed me a map to the City of Steam. Wow, this is great. Indeed, but hurry. The cyber forces are already heading towards it. Thank you. I then set off for my next destination. On days 27 to 30, I arrived at the City of Steam to find it under attack by the cyber forces. My enemies and the Steam police were clashing at war over the fate of the city. This is horrible. I need to help. Without a second thought, I jumped into the fray. As I fought, I took notice of my battle companions. The Steam police were lethal, expertly crafted machines. They were armed to the teeth and used katanas to swing at the incoming foes with masterful moves that sliced right through the hordes of creatures. Our foes, despite their jetpacks, heavy artillery, and armor, were being cut down like blades of grass before the might of these machines. I leapt back and began sniping down monsters that strayed away from the main crowd, ensuring that none could escape. I saw some steam police mirror my moves, but instead of bullets, they threw razor-sharp ninja stars. I howled and lunged into the mass once again, using my steel claws and mechanical jaws to shred the enemies into pieces. With my help, we're breaking even with the cyber forces. I thought we had cleared them all out until a cyber mech dropped in. Enough messing around. You'll all obey me now. They used a device that suddenly caused all the steam police officials to freeze in their tracks. What the? Before I could get another word out, they all turned on me and attacked. On days 31 to 34, I was fighting the steam police after they had turned on me. What did you do? I took over their minds with my special device. They're nothing but puppets to me now. The mind-controlled steam police bowed to the mech's command and attacked. Having seen how they fought in the previous battle, I knew that if I didn't play this smart, I would be in trouble. The steam police had turned their expertise on me now, and they slashed their katanas relentlessly. I defended to the best of my ability as their attacks slowly began to wound me more and more, forcing me to chow down on some steak to regain health. Unfortunately, this left me open to more attacks, and the steam police took every opportunity opportunity they got. Plumes of yellow vapor followed their movements as their gears went into overdrive. I didn't want to hurt them. These people were innocent, but they continued to come at me. Enraged, I attempted to go after the cyber mech controlling them, but they fled. Get back here, you coward! I chased them into a power plant. It didn't seem like anyone was around though. Come out and face me! All of a sudden, a large police guard dropped from above and shot a massive explosive behind me. Me. Before I knew it, the place exploded. On days 35 to 38, I woke up in the rubble with low health. A goblin mech guard loomed over me. Oh no, I walked right into another trap. The steam police from earlier swung in with a goblin mechs and I narrowly dodged out of the way. I need to find the cyber mech and stop this at the source. I knew I couldn't evade forever and finally used my power to knock out the steam police. Afterwards, I put my wolf nose to the test and began to sniff, looking for the mech's hiding spot. After a bit, I pinpointed the scent and located them. They were hiding nearby. I have you now. You blasted wolf. In a rage, I charged at the cyber mech. He was going to pay for everything. I leapt at him with a flurry of claws and gnashing teeth, tearing into his plated armor mercilessly. He backhanded me with a heavy fist, sending me flying back. And I realized that I had to regain hearts or this battle wouldn't last long. I gobbled down some steak and ran at him again, this time firing every bullet in my arsenal at him. He crouched low to the ground as he also fired from the guns on his back. Then he ran at me and used his massive size to try to flatten me with enormous stumps. I bit at his legs with my metal jaws, tearing at his inner machinery. This was truly a close battle, but I knew who was coming out on top. With one last burst of energy, I leapt back and called down an airstrike. The missiles hit home and the monster exploded. At last, the cyber mech was defeated. As their body withered away, I realized they had dropped a part of their machinery. I picked it up and felt myself transform. I gained five more hearts and new laser powers. With their controller dead, the steam police woke back up. Thank you for saving the city of steam. What brings you here? I explained my mission to them as the police listened intently. So you see, it's extremely important. Very well. Come with me. 
I think I know how to help you. On days 39 to 42, the steam police took me to the creator's house, only for me to find it in shambles. He looks like he left in a hurry. I scoured the area for clues while the steam police went back to his post. As I was looking around, I was ambushed by cyber goons. They instantly sent an onslaught of attacks at me. I used a ferocious bite, but their numbers overwhelmed me. The soldiers shot their explosive cannon arms, striking me, doing critical damage. As they surrounded my area, I slashed rapidly with my wolf claws, backing up some of the herd. I pulled out my shotgun and blasted powerful bullets at the soldiers. Luckily, I was able to take out the soldiers, leaving just the bigger goons to focus on. With my purple laser rings, I shot them as they rushed in at me, dealing minimal damage. They almost trapped me in a corner, so I used my wolf speed, maneuvering around them, giving me more space to land attacks. Eventually, I managed to take them down and win. I'm a lot tougher than I was before. Just then, I noticed some sort of diary on the floor. It belonged to the creator. Horrible things are looking for me. I've taken cover in my secret workshop. Only then will I be able to complete my project. I'm running out of time. I need to find this workshop before it's too late. I sniffed out the page and got a sense trail. Suddenly, I got a whiff of something. Something off. Is that smoke? I rushed in the direction of the smell. On days 43 to 46, I followed the source of the smoke to find a forest that was being set ablaze by one of the Cyber Dragon's men. Stop right there! Without another second, I attacked the goon. His arm saw blade was sharp. He lunged at me, leading with his blade, but I was able to evade it. I used my bite, but his metal core was too strong to break through. He kept swinging his blade at me and was able to pierce my wolf's skin, causing a significant amount of damage. I fired back with my purple wormhole, which pulled him in, and I blasted my rings, slowing the robot down a little. I was neck and neck. Neither side was giving in, and each second I wasted was another second innocent animals were put in danger. I don't have time for this! I knocked some debris in his way and ran away to help the animals. Quick, follow me! I quickly guided the few animals I could save and brought them just outside the forest fires. Suddenly, the fox spoke to me in a panic. Please, my baby is still inside. I'm on it. I ran into the forest to save them. On days 47 to 50, I searched the forest for the lost child and found him trapped in a tree. The flames were closing in around him. He didn't have much time. Hang on there, little guy. I climbed up the tree as the leaves burned around me. I managed to put a ladder down, allowing the baby to scale down to safety. Suddenly, a cage appeared around me. The cyber goon from earlier emerged. Looks like I caught myself a little wolf. The cyber dragon will be pleased. Run! The baby scurried off to safety while I tried to escape, but nothing was working. The flames were closing in. I wasn't gonna make it. On days 51 to 54, I was about to be cooked alive when suddenly the mom from earlier arrived. Everyone, shout! The animals I saved ran in to help me. They broke me out of the cage while the others held off the guard. How did you? My baby told me you saved him, so we had to help. Go, take down that villain. I ran into battle with the cyber goon, ready to defend the animals. The creatures were vicious, seeking revenge for the havoc the goon had caused. This time, my teeth were harder than his armor, so it was no problem tearing through his metal body. He kept focusing on me with his blade, but the animals distracted the cyber goon, making it easier to land hits. My laser seared his armor, and then I used a gravity hole to draw him into a prime attack spot, and then I blasted him with my circle beam. With all of us landing crucial hits on him, he couldn't stand a chance. I had won the battle and all was saved. Suddenly, it began to rain and all the fires fizzed out. The smoke smell is gone. I better keep following my scent trail so I can find the creator. On days 55 to 58, I followed the scent trail until I arrived at a clearing where someone was waiting for me. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. They attacked me and attached a device onto me. What the? You'll pay for that. I attacked them, but I suddenly stopped in place. <laughs> You're now at the mercy of the hacker. I tried to fight back, but my weapons misfired each attempt I made. I couldn't get any good hits. What the heck is going on? Just then, a sheep came out. What's happening? A guest? Kill him. 
now. No, wait! I was forced to target the innocent creatures. On days 59 to 62, I was locked in combat with the innocent sheep. I didn't want to hurt them, but I had no control over my body. Thanks to the hacker, without any self-control, I accidentally killed them. No! You'll pay for this, hacker! I tried to attack the hacker, but they stopped me in my tracks before I could. Remember who has the control here? My fun is done now, though. So, goodbye, Robot Wolf. The hacker then forced me to walk towards the edge of a steep cliff, where I would meet my demise with fall damage. I tried fighting back, but it seemed no use. Suddenly, I ended up stepping over the edge and started falling towards my doom. Good riddance. To my surprise, I landed in water. I looked up and realized that a sheep had come to save me with a water bucket. Come with me. You don't need to tell me twice. I started following the sheep, but in the distance, we saw the hacker. The two of us quickly hid, avoiding the sights of the hacker. Where are you, you pesky wolf? I can still sense your tracking device is live. As the hacker passed by where we were hiding, I was holding my breath. He eventually left and didn't detect us. Why did you save me? I killed your own people. That monster has been terrorizing my people. I want to help you fight back. What do you have in mind? The sheep then handed me an item that gave me more power. You hold him off while I get in a sneak attack. Good luck. Before I could respond, the sheep pushed me in front of the hacker. There you are. Time to finish what I started. On days 67 to 70, I was being confronted by the hacker. Prepare to die. I tried to attack him, but he stopped me again with his hacking powers. <laughs> You'll never find the creator. Take this. Just as I thought I was done for, my sheep friend landed a surprise hit on the hacker, and he dropped the controller on the ground. Hurry, grab it. That's mine. The hacker and I both charged towards the remote in a frenzy. On days 71 to 74, the hacker and I were in a rush towards the remote, but I was able to grab it before him. I destroyed the device, causing the hacking item to vanish from my inventory. No, my tech! Ah, let's see you try to fight me head on. The hacker was fueled with anger. I blasted shotgun bullets, sending the hacker flying backwards away from me. He striked back with his razor sharp winds of leaves, cutting through my fragile wolf skin easily. It was hard to hit him since he had an air advantage. So I called in an airstrike, landing a direct hit, dealing massive damage. He shot multiple beams of lighting circles at me, making the fur on my body stand up. The two of us went back and forth, striking each other with the strong abilities that we had. It was a tough fight, but I fought with everything I had, and I managed to win the battle. After defeating the hacker, he dropped another part, giving me five more hearts and a new electric blast ability. Along with the upgrade I got from the part, there was a map titled The Creator's Workshop. This is what I've been looking for. I need to hurry and follow this map. I gave thanks to the sheep for the help and followed the map. On days 75 to 78, I arrived at the location of the workshop to finally find the creator I had been searching for. He was finishing his cyber dragon. Stop right there! The creator spotted me and looked startled. You, what's going on? Just then, the creator ran away. Get back here! I chased after them, hoping to catch him. I ran into another room where I found myself being built. What the? You created me too? I was shocked. The man I had been looking to hunt down was actually my dad. Suddenly, the cyber dragon destroyed the wall. At last, I finally caught you. He attacked me, causing me to black out. Sometime between days 79 and 82, I woke up inside a huge lab. Where am I? A loud whirling brought to my attention that I was on a giant conveyor belt, heading right towards a pit of lava. <laughs> All the bad robots go bye-bye. Above me, there was a cyber goon controlling the machine that was bringing me closer to my demise. Oh no, I'm going to be turned to scrap. I tried to escape, but it was no use. Magnets were keeping me stuck to the conveyor belt. Not even you can resist every robot's weakness. Magnets! I was getting dangerously close to the edge. Am I really going to be melted into scrap? 
Just then, a little robot zoomed into the room. Leave him alone. She surprised the goon with an attack from her laser sword, quickly taking care of him. Not wasting a second, she turned to the controls and deactivated the conveyor belt. I jumped off right before meeting a fiery end. But my victory was short-lived as alarms started going off all over the lab. I'm Bronzo. Who are you? No time for introductions. Follow me before more guards show up. Quickly, we both ran away. On days 83 to 86, alarms were going off in the facility as I chased after my new robot friend. Quickly, we took cover and narrowly avoided a guard who ran into the hallway searching for us. All right, now tell me, who are you? I'm Rachel. I was sent by the creator to get your help. The creator? Sorry, I don't help anyone who's evil. You think he's evil? Oh, you need to get the full story. As we spoke, a guard whipped around the corner and spotted us both. I found the robot wolf. More guards poured in and began to attack, but Rachel jumped in and defended me. I'll hold him off. Go, find the creator in this facility and get the truth. As my new ally held off the guards, I ran. On days 87 to 90, I scoured the facility until I last spotted the creator trapped in a cage. In front of him was the Cyber Dragon. It looked like he was being confronted. I slowly crept in closer and listened in on the conversation. Looks like I finally got my claws on you. You won't get away with this. Building you was a mistake. Ha! You're going to die with that mistake forever. I'll make sure of it. I watched as the Cyber Dragon stepped back. I knew he was going to prepare an attack to kill him. I rushed in and broke him out of the cage before the Cyber Dragon had time to react, saving him. You. You're not laying a claw on the creator. The Cyber Dragon attacked and the two of us fled, running for our lives. What's going on? There's no time to talk. I'll explain everything later. On days 91 and 92, we were being pursued by the Cyber Dragon. We ducked behind some cover while our foe continued to seek us out. Why did you create the Cyber Dragon if you knew he was going to be evil? I didn't. He was an experiment gone wrong. I was trying to create a robot to defend the world, but instead of helping others, he only selfishly sought after his own desires. I was powerless against him, so I built a robot wolf to fight the Cyber Dragon and defeat him before he could take over the world. That robot wolf is you. So what I saw was real then? Yes. I'm sorry for building the Cyber Dragon. I never intended for this to happen, but I'm going to help you now by making you strong enough to defeat him. The creator handed me a map. Here you'll find the whereabouts of a special part. With it, I can upgrade you to be just as powerful as the Cyber Dragon. That way you might stand a chance. As the creator wrapped up with his speech, the dragon finally spotted us. Hurry, I'll find you again. Still reeling from the onslaught of information, I ran away. On days 93 through 94, I passed through a savanna as I was following the map towards the Nova Steel Gear. Suddenly, I heard someone calling to me. Robot Wolf, I need your help. A strange wolf ran up to me in a hurry and explained to me that a sorcerer has been terrorizing his home. He has my grandpa held prisoner. Please help. And in exchange, I'll give you some mutton. Sure, us wolves have to stick together. I followed the wolf to his home, but once we arrived, we spotted the cyber dragon speaking to the sorcerer, and the wolf's grandpa was locked up. Your sorcerer must work for the cyber dragon. Lay low. That dragon is bad news. I gave you a very important mission, and this is what you do instead? Prepare to meet your doom. Please, give me a second chance. I'll get you what you need. I just need more time. I don't have more time to give. No! Kill him! He has been terrorizing my home. He doesn't deserve mercy. Perhaps I will give you a second chance, sorcerer. Destroy the old coot and then get back to work. The sorcerer took his chance and destroyed the old wolf. The young wolf couldn't just stand by and watch this happen. Grandpa, no! Without warning, the young wolf rushed towards the sorcerer. <laughs> I can kill you too. I jumped into the fray before the sorcerer was able to strike down the young wolf. Very interesting. 
Kill them all, sorcerer! With pleasure. The sorcerer began to attack me and the young wolf, now instead using his magical powers to try and get an advantage. I fought back with my circle laser, burning my powerful robot tech into the sorcerer's armor. We were neck and neck. The sorcerer began summoning a red circle above to charge up his first attack. I used my thunder powers to slow down my opponent from summoning his magic. Unfortunately, he teleported me to him to land more attacks. As I was close, I slashed rapidly with my razor claws, dwindling his health hit after hit. He struck back by summoning a hammer, sending me flying backwards, dealing massive damage. He then created skulls that flew towards me and exploded on contact. I lunged at him in wolf rage, invading his space, making it hard for him to attack. With neither side giving in, the cyber dragon took to the skies. Stop! Get back here! Unfortunately, my distraction would be deadly. The monster took his chance to kill the young wolf. No! You'll pay for that! Rage filled me as I landed a massive attack on the sorcerer, bringing him down once and for all. This madness has to stop. I have to find that Nova Steel gear. With a heavy heart, I continued on my quest for my final upgrade. On days 95 and 96, I followed the map and arrived at a strange temple full of ancient tech. The Nova Steel gear must be somewhere inside of here. I explored the temple until I reached a dead end. How am I supposed to get through this? I accidentally hit a pressure plate, causing a swarm of robotic bugs to attack me. The bugs began to shoot an onslaught of beetle bullets at me. I swiped rapidly at the bugs with razor sharp claws, landing crucial hits to the armor they had on. To my surprise, they lifted up their wings and then charged at me super fast, making it hard for me to use my claws. They were overwhelming. I used my shotgun to blast them away and eliminated some in the process. They had me in numbers, but I was bigger and stronger than them. I used my ferocious mechanical wolf bite on the few guard bugs remaining. I managed to defeat all of the robot guard bugs, and after I had won, I noticed a key. Wait a second. I used the key on the dead end, causing the wall to open up before me. Wow, that actually worked! I headed deeper inside to get the Nova Steel gear I was seeking. On days 97 to 98, I continued into the large room where the Nova Steel gear was waiting for me on a pedestal. Finally, I found it! As I approached the Nova Steel gear, the room began to tremble. Then, a guardian dropped in front of me. He didn't look like he would let me pass easily. Halt! Only the worthy may bear this artifact. Please, I need it. The fate of the future depends on it. If that's the case, then prove yourself in battle. Fine, but you asked for it. In a burst of motion, the guardian attacked me, and I attacked with my circle laser beams. But it teleported and was suddenly right in front of me. It did a spin attack, hitting me back, and I retaliated with a blast of my electric shock. I backed away, shooting my shotgun as it reared back and let loose a mighty roar before throwing chunks of lava at me. I dodged out of the way, but the guardian stomped its legs down, causing crystals to explode out of the ground under me. I ran forward, biting at it with my mechanical jaws, crushing him between metal teeth. My metal claws tore through him as it swept back at me, but I knew I was stronger than he was. With one burst of crackling thunder, the guardian fell. I had won. I rushed forward and snatched the gear off the pedestal. Immediately, I felt a surge of power rush through me. My health increased by five hearts, and I gained a new power. I had to test it out a bit. Perfect! Now I've evened the playing field. I need to return to the future and end this war once and for all. My goal achieved, I set out to seek the creator once more. On day 99, I returned to the lab where the creator was waiting for me. There was a portal outside, being guarded by the Cyber Dragon's forces. That portal will send you back to the future, where you can confront the Cyber Dragon. They don't seem like they want me going through there. No, but with that upgrade, you can fight your way through. Are you sure? There's so many guards out there. What happens if I can't make it? You'll all be done for. Don't think like that, Bronzo. You must believe in yourself. You are battle-tested and combat-proven. You're the strongest soldier we have. If anyone can do it, 
It's you. You are our last hope. You're right. I can do this. I'm the most powerful robot wolf of all time. That a boy. Now go. Your time has come. Demolish that cyber dragon. I agreed and jumped into battle. I shot a barrage of circle lasers at the guards as I charged in, catching the guards by surprise. Once I was close enough, I switched to my shotgun and blasted them point blank. Instead of reloading, I began crushing the remaining nearby enemies with my mechanical jaw. My new powers made short work of my enemies, calling lightning and thunder down explosively around me. As I slashed with my claws, I took down the guards, but more and more kept coming to stop me. I have to go! Good luck, Bronzo. Thanks, Dad. I won't let you down. In the final moments, I fled through the portal. On day 100, I arrived back in the future city, stronger than before. The Cyber Dragon was waiting for me. Looks like you've gotten your hands on that upgrade. That doesn't matter. You're in my realm now. Future or not, I'm going to take you down and free everyone from your tyranny. I'd like to see you try. He attacked me without another moment. The dragon surrounded me in a black void, causing my movement to be limited for a few seconds. Unfortunately, that gave him time to bite me. I tried clawing through his tough dragon skin, but it felt like I was clawing hard armor. I leapt at the dragon and clawed him while he was in the air, making him go more airbound and slowed him down. From a distance, he shot a powerful sonic boom, striking me and erupting the floor into flames. I continued back with my energy circle rings. He was powerful and we were neck and neck, but I wasn't going to give up that easily. I used everything I've learned in the last 99 days and unleashed my powerful electric blast attack, ultimately killing the cyber dragon. With the beast defeated, I saved the day and freed the future from the horrors of the cyber dragon. Yes, Ferrand!